Could you tell me about you as a little boy? Um, I want to kind of get a picture of you when you were a little boy and playing football. Um, you know, what was it like playing? You know, in your early days before you signed for Corinthians. I was playing um, in, in the street, um, you know, in my in my country in Brazil, where I born in Ribeirão Pires, São Paulo. So uh, I started to play when I was four years old, and then. I went to Corinthians when I was at nine years old, and then and then start to become more serious. How did they find you? Because I guess every they were always saying Brazil, uh, every boy was, wants to become a footballer. <laughs> yeah, I was playing against Corinthians, you know, one day, and uh, we lose that game, I think. But uh, at the end of at the end of the game, uh, the manager from Corinthians they. Just come and say to me, uh, we like you. Where is your parents? They are here. I say yes, and they they had a conversation with my dad, and they they say to him, now we want your your son to come to stay with us one week to see, you know. And then I went there, and uh, I stayed there nine years since I became professional. Did you ever did you ever want to become a professional footballer or were you just playing for fun in those days? What was the sort of mentality in your in your head? In my head it was like um, I want to become a professional player. I have a dream and I go for it. But uh, I cannot go alone. That uh, you have to push like my dad, my mom did did with me. They never give up in difficult situation because they want me to live for me to live my my my, my dream so it was it was like that how important were your mom and dad you know when you were sort of before you signed for Corinthians before you made your first like money in football did you need their help their sacrifice and uh, what did they give you yeah they give everything for me you know they sacrifice they go uh, to work, sometimes um, 24 hours, <laughs> so they, they call friends to help us, to, you know, and they did everything for me to, to, to become a professional football player, so I think uh, that's the most important thing. What, what job uh, were they doing when they were in Brazil, when you were trying to make it as a professional? My dad, he was working the street. My mom, he was, she was working in the house, like, uh, how can I say? Cle like cleaner? Or? Cleaner, cleaner, yeah. Cleaner, every day. It was like that, my, uh, my life. So when I was growing up, it was very difficult. <laughs> Because sometimes we don't have money to, you know, to go to training or... So they, they ask somebody, you know, no, can you, can you help me? Can you give some money to take my son to the training, you know? So, yeah, it was very difficult. Well, it's amazing. And, you know, I wanted to ask sort of, um, you know, when you got your first paycheck in football, did you buy a present for your family or was, was that an important moment for your family as well as you, you know, professionally when you signed a professional contract? Yeah, yeah, of course. Apartment for my, for my family. I bought the apartment for them. And uh, I bought a car for my, for my dad as well. I think, uh, and then we, like, my, and my first car was, when I was to to Korea, when I become a professional, my first car was like was Celta. Do you know this car, okay. Celta? No, I'll Google it. <laughs> uh, it was this car. Now I, I see young players; they have already run over. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, my first car was Celta. You still happy? You can see. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a new generation. Everything change, you know. Yeah. And uh, but uh, when I become professional was. My f when I got my money, first thing I, I did was that to buy something to my parents. Mm -hmm.